me, Future Earth will work through a whole range of approaches, but at its core, we will have an overall research framework that's currently being developed by our transition team. It will give the broad directions that Future Earth is going to take, and we hope that in working with the broader research community, uh, we uh, together develop new and exciting research projects from the bottom up to fill that uh, broader uh, high-level framework. And there are a whole range of ways that that, that, that can work through uh, national funding and uh, national projects to projects uh, supported that run across uh, national, national boundaries uh, to uh, activities that support the next generation of scientists coming into global change research um, to uh, activities of a broad, broader uh, training and development nature. So I think that there are a whole range of ways that Future Earth could work and it's not really just a single uh, just a single idea. We have to think in terms of how will it work in practice in terms of what are the steps along the way to move from where we are now to where we want to be. And so how it will work in practice has to evolve as we learn how to bring these communities together, how to address the um, questions that society is asking. So I think we need to take small steps um, and to keep moving in the direction with sort of what we might call adaptive management um, so that we're not trying to make a huge leap all of a sudden, that we're making steps along the way and we're continuing to push and motivate in that direction. Um, of course the community wants things to move quickly too and so we do need to have quickness of movement. I think that it will be somewhat similar to the way that we do global environmental change programs now. There will be projects that are mostly staffed with scientists from different countries supported by their funding agencies to work together. I think that in practice hopefully um, future Earth projects will be perhaps more closely connected to users and stakeholders um, many of them are already, but we'd like to see all of them um, really fulfilling this new contract between science and society. Um, I think that um, one uh, image of the potential of Future Earth in practice was the Planet Under Pressure conference uh, in March this year, where you had all of the groups coming together to present, and it really um, uh, provided a multidisciplinary perspective on problems and solutions to global environmental change. Well, Future Earth is a global initiative. It wants to mobilize a whole global network of scientists engaged in collaborative research. So Future Earth will include some kind of coordination at the global level, but it will particularly build a network of centers of excellence, of nodes of regional to global research across the world. And the idea is to mobilize different partnerships bottom-up, so to create enthusiasm around research teams, building on the enormous experience and ongoing global environmental change research which already exists. So it's, it's not starting from scratch, but building on what we have and connecting to new people and hopefully also generating a step change in support to research. So of course it will be doing research both in different regions, like in the Amazon rainforest and the savannas, all the way to understanding the challenges the world is facing today and tomorrow.